Hey, St. Joseph's, Father John here. It is th or Thursday. It is Friday, uh, week nine of our social distancing experiment. Happy Easter. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this to lay down one, one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves, because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends, because I have told you everything I have heard from my Father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you, and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. All right, this is a beautiful passage. And just uh, two things for your eyes of faith today is this one. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. How is that different from what is the, you know, the Old Testament, which commandments, which can be summed up in, um, you know, love God with all your strength, heart, strength, and mind, and then love your neighbor as yourself. So how is then Jesus saying, I, a new commandment, my new commandment, how is this new to love one another? Because he's already said to love one another, and this is it, this is the key. It's that last phrase, as I love you. What is new about this new commandment is that it is not merely a commandment, kind of like you need to do this, but it's also with the commandments, then comes the power and the capacity to fulfill it, the grace to fulfill it. Because Jesus Christ has shown us the love of God, has shown us what love is, and that he showed on the cross. That it's to lay down your life for your friends. That he shows how much the Father loves us. That he's willing to sacrifice his own most greatest treasure, and his only begotten Son, because he loves us that much. He loves us infinitely. And so that is the standard of love that he sets and that we are called then to put into practice with his grace. That's what makes it new. And then finally, it's just, it, is not, it is not you who chose me, but I who chose you. Always remember that gee, God is the first actor. He creates us without our consent. He, he, gives, he gives us all these blessings. And, and finally, the greatest gift of salvation, it's not because all of a sudden, like, you know, I really, I love God. It's that... Even that desire to love God is, is the initial grace of God moving in our hearts or that, des or that desire of repentance, like, wow, that was really bad. I need to, I need to you know, repent of this. That's already God moving us to contrition. That it's God who's always the first one leading us closer to himself. Um, always remember that. And so we never, never put the, you know, the cart before the horse, so to speak, that we are always responding to God's initiative that he's always giving us every day. So St. Joseph's, this is my last um, social media post during this pandemic. It's been wonderful. I think we got 51 videos. Um, but now that we're starting resuming public masses tomorrow, I just don't have it in my schedule um, to continue these um, reflections. I don't have time in a day. I wish I could. So it's been great. Um, I hope to see many of you starting um, this week at, at any of the Masses, not only this week, but also the daily Masses. Um, daily Masses starting Monday through Friday will be at 8 a.m. and 12 p.m. at noon at the main church. So if you can't come on Sunday, we always you can come during the week as well. Um, and we ask for the weekday, weekend Masses, so Saturday and Sunday, the Vigil Mass, and this, all the Sunday Masses, that you please sign up on the parish website at Sign of Genius. Please wear a mask or some kind of face and nose covering when you come to church, since it's going to be a gathering of, you know, a good number of people in an enclosed space. Um, we want to try to limit any kind of spread of germs. And please bring your own hand sanitizer. And remember that we will be, um, be keeping socially distant. And also that for Holy Communion during this time, temporarily, we will only be distributing it on the hand. Um, <laughs> other than that... That should be it. Today is the last day for uh, the confessions in the wooded lots from 12 to 1 um, in front of the rectory. Starting tomorrow, we'll go back to our normal schedule of 4.30 confessions on Saturday and then 30 minutes before the daily masses, before the 8 a.m. 
and the 12 p.m. Mass Monday through Friday, and then, of course, the 8 a.m. Mass on Saturday. All right, St. Joseph's, love you, always praying for you, God bless you, and we're slowly, slowly coming back um, to some kind of new normal, and hopefully it's a new normal with Christ at the center and God at the center of our lives and detached from our consumerism, detached from our goods, and more attached to God who loves us and, sh and set the standard of love by dying for our sins. God bless you.